1000 KTOK Mullins in the morning 6:33 and it all started well this whole saga basically with a video clip of a former now EPA regional chief Al Armendaris talking about his enforcement practices and using the word crucify and we have a staunch defender of uh, our uh, freedoms and also uh, some of the crazy things uh, against some of the crazy things that this EPA administration is going after. And he is our senior senator, Jim Inhofe. Good morning, sir. Hey, Reed. It's great being with you. And you might remember in our last month's conversation, we talked about uh, we talked about Armendariz and, and and his whole thing. To refresh their memory, he's the guy, the EPA director of a of the sixth, uh, I think it was, the district that said that we instructed his subordinates to go after oil and gas companies. He said you have to treat them like the, like the Romans did when they'd go around the Mediterranean. They'd go into a town and they'd crucify the first five people they saw, left them dangling to die as, an, as a symbol to get their attention, to, to show their authority. This is the EPA we're talking about. And what happened uh, yesterday, I, on the floor, day before yesterday, I guess it was, Monday, uh, it, we found another. We have two more coming after this. So uh, it, it's, it's turned into something where we're finally get able to expose how the EPA is deliberately trying to put people out of business. This is something that uh, the House wanted to go after and have him explain himself, and they set up a meeting for today, and guess who is going to be a no-show? <laughs> it's going to be him, Armendariz. In fact, the headline in this morning, let me get it here, this morning's uh, uh, Politico up here is Armendaris bails on hearing as Inhofe escalates assault on EPA. Well, that pretty much tells it all, I think, don't you, Reed? I certainly do, but how in the world can you just say no and not go to one of these things? Well, because he, he quit his job. Now, if he were still working for the EPA, he could not do that. But as it is now, he can just not show up, and then they'd have to go through a thing to try to subpoena him and try to uh, uh, get a service on him, and, and, and it probably would never happen. But, uh, but at least he's gone now. We haven't had much more than lip service out of the uh, rest of the EPA. I don't think Lisa Jackson's really uh, uh, done a whole lot to counter this, has she? No, but, you know, I, I hate to say it. I kind of defend her sometimes. These are people that are her, uh, her subordinates, of course. But they were there, and they were chosen by Obama himself. Now, uh, you're going to find out in next week we're going to be announcing that when we expose a couple more of them. I have a bill I've introduced. I'm getting co-sponsors right now that will make an EPA director, regional director, subject to Senate confirmation. Now, if that happens, this won't ever happen again. You're not going to have people, extremists, people who are proud of the fact that they're trying to do away with, with the oil and gas business, with fossil fuels, with well, almost any business. You talked in Oklahoma City or any place in Oklahoma. Go around, talk to the employers, to the, the, the people who are trying to run businesses, and they'll tell you the greatest obstacle they have is the EPA or the government. And this isn't, that's not the way it's supposed to happen. So we are winning this fight, and we're going we're gonna to make it a victory. Um, Senator, I want to get your uh, response to what happened in Wisconsin last night. Scott